if everything comes from God, through the Holy Spirit, if we grieve and quench the Holy Spirit, we stop that. Okay, not a few years ago, I talked about the water hose example. You can be at the user end of the water hose, but if it's not plugged in, if it's not, if it's not screwed on to the faucet, or the faucet's not turned on, there's no water coming out, right? And in the Bible, the Holy Spirit's talking about being water a lot. Well, it's, similar, it's very similar to that. If the water hose of our life is not attached to God, the Holy Spirit is the way that flows. It, it doesn't flow. We wonder, why doesn't this happen for me? Why, is it, why don't I see God doing these things? It, it's because of the, we've grieved and quenched the water hose, so to speak. We've cut off the water. And many of us are trying to live God, live for God in our flesh. We're trying to obey God in our flesh. And no wonder, see, my flesh is always going to say, go to comfort, man. God asks, well, dude, just be comfortable. Whatever you got to do to be comfortable, just be comfortable. You want to be comfortable too. I know you want to be comfortable. Yeah, I want to be comfortable. But that's always my flesh. We have to choose against that. If that's what God's asked us to do, because that's what, there's a difference in the two. So when we start to recognize that this is me, this is God. This is what makes me feel the way I want to feel. This is what God's asking me for his glory. And you start making decisions that are different than that. It changes how you live life. And the reason it's so important as a first step surrender is I want God, give me peace. How's God going to give you peace? God, help my relationships. How's God going to work in your relationships? God, help me in this area of, of my physical health. God, help me in this area of my finances. God, help me work through this. God, can you show me what your purpose for my life is or your will for me or your plan for me? Or God, I got this decision to make about what job to take or what school to go to or what other thing is. God, I got this. How do you think God's going to talk to you? How does he communicate to you? How does he reveal himself to you? It's through the Holy Spirit. So when you've cut off the Holy Spirit, when you've grieved and quenched him, he doesn't do those things. The reason surrender is the key piece is it comes back to, am I surrendered or not? Because if I'm not surrendered, the activity of the Holy Spirit is, is very limited. A lot of things we call God, the work of God, the Holy Spirit, aren't really necessarily God. And if they are God, they're not near what God's willing to do if we just choose surrender. If we just choose to be sold out to him, 